Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we started with the creation of PDF form or Adobe form. We firstly created the interface. In the interface, we took the various import parameters. After that, we created the form. In the form, we used that interface. We drag and drop the parameters from the interface to the Adobe form. After that, we clicked on to the layout button and we will design the layout here now. Now, now we have master page and body page. Body pages are the output of Adobe form or smart form because ultimately body pages are appearing in the output. What is master page? Whatever is on the master page, it appears on all the body pages, but ultimately your output is all about what body pages in our current requirement. We do not have any logo or we do not have any such information which we want on all the body pages. It means we will not do anything with the master page. We will simply, simply design the layout on the body page. If we have something in which, if we have something which we want on all the body pages, in that case, we will go for master page. In our current scenario, there is no such thing which we want on all the body pages. So we will simply, simply go for body page. We will not design anything on the master page. Now, this is our body page. So firstly, I will rename the page so that we can understand fully. Yes. It is very important that you should always give a meaningful name because sometimes layouts are very big. So it is if you are giving a meaningful description, it is easy for you to navigate. So suppose I will give sales order page. I will go for save. Parallelly, I will save also. I'll just log in again. Today there is some problem with the system. I need every time I need to log in. I will go to SFP. I will click on to layout. I just rename the page. Sales order page. I will say. Now we will design three sub forms. Before we design three sub forms, we will firstly go to the object of the page. If you want to go to object of the page and if you are not able to see, go for palettes, workspace, reset palette locations. We all know every layout element has a object. So just take this object and drop here itself. I always has a practice so that every time there is no need to go here and there. Here itself, I can see the object of each and every layout element. This is our page. First, most important point which you need to take care. Your page is floored or positioned. Your page should be floored or positioned. Just see your requirement. 
यू हैव ए आइटम डेटा आइटम डेटा इस आइटम डेटा इज स्टैटिक इन नेचर और डायनेमिक इन नेचर इट इज डायनेमिक इन नेचर वी कैन हैव एनी नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स and whenever items will not accommodate on one page yes items data will flowed to the next page so our page should be must be flowed it is not position first important point suppose by mistake you have not changed the page and you took the page as position and you designed everything later when ever you will change the page from whenever you will change the page from position to floor every layout element will be here and there on the page ultimately rework for you will increase so decide at the first time itself your page will be floor or position if your data is not flowing to next page you have fixed length data then there is no need to take the page as floor but in our current requirement our data will shift to next page so we will take the page as floor compulsory floor i will save parallelly i will save after each and every point because today the server is not working fine now i will simply simply create first sub form now i will right click on the page insert sub form firstly i will rename the sub form so first sub form is for sales order title we only want to print this title as o item details i will just increase the width of the sub form i will decrease the vertical yes i will decrease the height of the sub form inside this sub form i only want to print as o item details so i will simply put the cursor on the sub form i will go for insert standard i will go for text and what will be the name of the text s o item details i will say so that there will be no rework now i will go for second sub form i will put the cursor on the page insert sub form i just increase the width i will rename the sub form in the second sub form i want to display the value of creation date and created by so i will simply consider this as a header information ultimately it is header information header details now in this particular sub form you want to print the label also value also label also value also whenever you want to print the label and value whenever you want to print the text and value you need to create text field so i will put the cursor on the sub form insert standard i will go for text field i will just to drop at the respective location i will just change the text what should be the text s o creation date s o creation date now here i want to print the value of that date 
So it means we need to bind. We need to bind with the variable. So I will go to the object and we have a binding. Whenever you will go to binding, okay, I'll just reset the palette location. Workspace, reset palette locations. If something is hand or if you are not able to see anything, just reset the palette locations. I will drag and drop the object here. I'll put the cursor. Now I will go to the binding because we want to print the value. So we will go for binding. I will go for data binding. This is our Adobe form. And yes, this is the variable for the low value of the date. Done. So we simply bind it. So here it will print the low value of the date. Now I will go for, again, I will insert one text field. Here itself, now I will insert one more text field. I will drop here. Now here, I will simply change the text to 2, T-O-2, because this is what we want, 2, T-O. Now here, I will bind the high value, high value. So I will go for this, and now this is your high. 